Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Bear Views back at you today with another one. And what I'm looking at is from Duges out of Sweden. This is their Coffee Vanilla Deluxe Imperial Stout aged in whiskey barrels brewed with vanilla and coffee. What kind of coffee? Coffee from Dematio, which is also out of Sweden. This beer clocks in at a whopping 15% alcohol by volume. Not sure what the IBUs are. We don't get beers this high here in the state of Georgia. The legal limit for beer sold is 14%. So this is courtesy of Robert the Whiskey Scout. I will post a link to his channel in the description below. Thanks, Robert. Um, this beer sounds awesome. I'm pretty sure you reviewed it on Stout Sunday and really liked it, so I'm looking forward to getting into it. It says, We brewed a layered dream, a sweetly soft, robust, and elegant flavored beer with plush vanilla and Dematio roasted Colombian tabby coffee. Then we let it mature in lovely whiskey barrels. Avec Deluxe. Brewed and bottled by Duguay's Brewery in Sweden and ported by 12% LLC, Brooklyn, New York. Ingredients. I love how they put the ingredients on here. Water, barley malt, rye malt, oats, coffee, vanilla, hops, and yeast. All right. Let's go ahead and get into it here. I did take it out of the fridge about 20 minutes ago. wanted to sit out just for a little bit because this beer is such a heavy hitter and being an imperial stout you really want those flavors to develop so you don't want to drink it ice cold all right so poured it up really no head to speak of but what do you expect with a 15 percent bomb like this um i mean just a tiny little thin film ahead which is now pretty much gone already oh man rich getting the coffee getting the vanilla actually the first thing though that i picked up on was the whiskey barrels doesn't specify doesn't say bourbon barrels just says whiskey barrels mm. holy moly So coffee, vanilla. The coffee is not too overpowering, though. You get through the coffee right away. Uh, you Well, the first thing, like I said, I was picking up on was the whiskey barrels. Then you get the coffee and then the vanilla. I'm almost, you know what I'm getting is hazelnut. This doesn't have hazelnut in it, but I'm picking up on a hazelnut aroma. Mm. It actually smells a lot like the Bourbon County Cafe de Ola, or Oya, as it's pronounced, that I had not too long ago. One of the best beers out there, if you're a stout lover. Man, this smells really good. Not really picking up on too much of the alcohol. You do get some of the barrel presence on the aroma, but it doesn't smell like 15%. I mean, good God, 15%. Lord. It smells absolutely delightful. I am salivating here. So without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers. Oh, my. The whiskey barrels coming through, the vanilla, the coffee. There's a smokiness to this. Mm. There's a smoky quality to this from the roasted malt. Maybe, you know, they do use different types of malt. They use barley and rye malt, which rye malt is not very common in beer. Um, so maybe that's what I'm picking up on, some of the the roasty notes from the rye malt. The oats in here, I guess, kind of thicken up the mouthfeel a little bit, but the, it's really kind of, 
it's not thin body, but it's not, it didn't pour like motor oil. It's not a super thick, viscous beer. It's actually relatively thin, not in the taste profile or anything like that, but as far as the viscosity of the liquid itself, it's, it's not, not very thick in that regard. Mm. Yeah, a definite smoky character, which has got to be coming from the roasted malt. And that's kind of actually, I wasn't picking that up on the aroma, but that's really the first thing that hits me is that smoky character and then the roasted malt. The whiskey's coming through, the whiskey barrel, the vanilla is probably the least prominent or prevalent flavor that I'm getting. The coffee is there, but it's not overpowering. There's a lot of complexity, a lot going on with this beer. The alcohol, I mean, it's really not that boozy. You can tell that you're drinking a higher ABV stout, but if you gave this to me, didn't tell me what the alcohol was, I'd probably guess that it was around 8 or 9. It definitely doesn't taste like 15. It is slightly warming going down. Which lets you know that it's a higher alcohol beer. Mm. But like I said, it's really not that boozy. That smoky character keeps building. It's really surprising because I was not expecting that from the aroma. That, that smoky character, that rich smoky character. I mean, it almost makes me think of like a barbecue. <laughs> In a good way. Really, really good stuff. This is just absolutely incredible. It's well balanced. It's not too much of one thing. The alcohol's mass well. The barrel notes are coming through. The quality of the ingredients that they use in here are obviously very high. I mean, this just tastes outstanding. Man, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's just such a complex, enjoyable brew and the fact that it's 15% is really mind blowing to me because it just it's so damn smooth to be a 15% alcohol beer absolutely incredible thanks so much to Robert the Whiskey Scout for sending this to me I'm going to go ahead actually I'm going to take one more sip and then give it a rating Ninety-eight out of a hundred. It's a ninety-eight out of a hundred all day. If you gave this a ninety-nine or a hundred out of a hundred, I wouldn't argue with you. It's excellent, world-class stuff. Um, the only reason it doesn't get a perfect score for me is because I have had a couple of beers. Um, you know, well, Bourbon County. Um, Northwoods Stout Edition is a perfect hundred. The CVS might be slightly better than this, but it's a little bit more malt forward, less balanced. This one's a little bit more balanced. So it really just depends on what you like. This is one of the most balanced stouts that I've ever had, really. I mean, there's just so much going on, but you get everything without getting too much of it of one thing. Yeah, 98 out of 100, but I could be lowballing it. I mean, as well as the alcohol's mass and the level of complexity that you're getting here, it's just, it's really, it's just really outstanding stuff. But I'm going to stick with a 98. Uh, and as I keep drinking on it, uh, I probably, that rating will probably go up. But it, it's it's a winner. You just, you can't go wrong with it. If you can find Dugas beers in your area and you can get your hands on the coffee, vanilla, deluxe, Definitely buy it, try it, let me know what you guys think. Just an outstanding stout. You'd be doing yourself a disservice if you passed up on this one, if you had the opportunity to get it in your stout lover, because this has just got everything that you could possibly want in a stout. Super, super great beer. Um, 
Okay, that'll do it for this beer review, guys. Robert the Whiskey Scout has a great channel. Like I said before, go check him out. His link will be in the description below, as well as right there. If you want to click on his icon, that'll take you directly to his channel. Hope you're all having a wonderful day, and until next time, everybody, cheers.